Inter Milan Routing Challenge, the adolescent table. R1 router gigabit 00, the gigabit 00 reconnection to the cloud, and sub interfaces on gigabit 01. Okay, sub interfaces on gigabit 01. S1 with IP address, S1 with IP address. Three PCs on different VLANs on different networks. Three PCs on VLAN 10, 20, 30, and different networks. And server on the cloud, server on the cloud. VLAN table, VLAN number, name, and interface assignment. Instructions. Assign IP addressing to R1 and S1 based on the addressing table. Okay, and click on R1, command line interface. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Okay, configure first this uh, interface gigabit 01 on R1, but should be configured with sub interfaces. Okay, uh, interface gigabit 01.10. Okay, gigabit 01.10. Enter and before to apply the IP address, uh, you need to apply the encapsulation. Encapsulation. That one Q. Uh, okay, uh, this IP address belongs to Tang Network, and Tang Network belongs to VLAN Tang. So uh, use here VLAN Tang. And set the IP address, IP address 172.17.10.1, subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Okay. Now, the next, 1.20. 1.20. Encapsulation, 20 network, 20 network belongs to VLAN 20. Okay. 20. IP address 20.1. 20 that one the same subnet mask and the all sub interfaces are using the subnet mask 24 uh, the encapsulation that one q30 ip address 30 that one ada Okay, ADA, encapsulation, that one Q, ADA, but wait a moment, and uh, 10 is faculty, 20 is students, VLAN theory, guest, VLAN 88 is native. So use here a uh, space native keyword, okay, to identify the native. Enter, and now, and set the IP address ADA.1, ADA.1, uh, 99, 99, encapsulation, encapsulation.1Q, 99, IP address 99.1, okay, enter. Okay, but uh, you need to enable gigabit 01, the physical interface. Interface gigabit 01, no shutdown. And now you can see here the green indicator. Okay, on S1, the IP address and the default gateway. Okay, S1, and the default gateway on S1, okay. As well. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Uh, as one well, VLAN 99. Interface VLAN 99. IP address of NetMask. IP address 172.17.99.10. Subnet mask 24, no shutdown, 
exit ip default gateway and use this default gateway 99.1 172.17.99.1 Okay, enter Create name and assign VLANs on S1 based on the VLAN and port assignment table Ports should be in access mode Your VLAN names should match the names in the table exactly Okay, case sensitive Okay, on global configuration mode, configure all these VLANs with names. Okay, VLAN 10, name. Okay, case sensitive faculty slash stop. No spaces. VLAN 20, name students. Students. VLAN 30. Name guest default okay case sensitive no spaces belong 88 name native and belong 99 okay name management be, be careful with the names that exit Okay, but don't forget to uh, assign VLANs. Okay, first Ethernet 11 to 17 to VLAN 10. Select multiple interfaces with interface range command and first Ethernet 0 slash 11 to 17. Okay, access mode. Okay, switch port mode access. Okay, and access to VLAN 10. VLAN 10. Now 18 to 24 to VLAN 20. 18 to 24. Mode access VLAN 20. 6 to 10 to VLAN 30. Interface range 6 to 10 to should switch for mode access and VLAN 30. Gigabit 01 for the native. Okay, but this is Gigabit 01, the connection to router and should be trunk. Okay, should be trunk. So, configure Gigabit 01 on S1 as a static trunk and assign the native VLAN. Okay, Gigabit 01 static trunk, the connection to R1. Okay, interface gigabit 01, switch port, no trunk. Okay, gigabit 01, switch port, no trunk, and the native VLAN. The native VLAN is 88. Switch port, trunk, native VLAN 88. And Okay, and don't forget VLAN 99 is assigned to VLAN 99. Okay, uh, it's not assigned uh, to a port. It's not assigned to a port or ports. It's assigned to the management interface VLAN 99 with the IP address. So this is okay, not problem. And all ports that are not assigned to a VLAN should be disabled. Okay, exit. Uh, global configuration mode. Select multiple ports. Okay, interface range. Okay, from 6 to 10, assign it. From 11 to 70, assign it. And from 18 to 24, assign it. Gigabit 01, assign it. And from 1 to 5, not assigned. Okay, first Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 5. And gigabit 0 2, not assigned. Okay, comma, gigabit 0 2. Enter. And should be disabled. Shut down. Enter. Okay, exit. 
configure interbillion routing on R1. Okay, uh, go to R1. Already configured. This is the interbillion routing. Verify connectivity. Okay, PC1. Common prompt. Ping uh, PC2. PC2. PC2 IP address. 20.22.172.17.20.22 Success From PC1, ping PC3 Success, ping S1, S1, 99.10, 99.10. Success, repeat, all success, ping to R1, for example, one of these sub interfaces 172.17.10.1 one. 172.17.10.1 success now pick the server but verify if gigabit zero zero but verify if gigabit zero zero on r1 is uh, is the is configured Go to R1 and show IP interface brief. Gigabit 00, zero. is configured with an IP address app, protocol app. Very good, and it's, uh, it's configured and ping to the server. From PC1, ping the server is 50.254. 172.17.50.254, enter. Okay, repeat, and all success, very good. Completion 100%, thank you very much.